Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Heavenly Father. How amiable are your tabernacles, O God. I so long for you, our heart rejoice in your sovereignty. We worship your father. We worship your father. We worship your father. Limbra duske to be kerelaba. Malinga dike popolo gabahashi. Banga dike limo suse tika pampelika dishte kredo munga baba baliando. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Lengra dabos. Erege de geli baba 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 skete Engra baba 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 kuko lima mama kasi ketromenge lima makaliande zeiga du kapange kali munga bage like si ketromeshi teketi baba baba kaliande Father we exalt you Father we magnify you Baba tu si kete amboliande Come bless the Lord all you servants of the Lord who stand by now in the presence of the Lord lift our hands into the holy place. I'm blessed the Lord. Rikalabu sekete bragadi ya gaba. Jebreke digla kase kita papa baliadi. Barush te vegete papa gali ke dosa. Engre digle du seketro bebe kapa papa baliadi. Jebreke digla du seketro bebe geliadi. Barush se vegeri so papa bagiria. Engre dige papa 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 gazanto guru gogo sketeria. Maliangra dige lebo sa papa bagari. Seike du kapangi likazi ze ketro menge papa papa we worship your father. We exalt your father. We magnify your father. We glorify your father. We exalt your hail. holy name, Father. This day is the day that you have made. We declare your sovereignty and lordship. We declare your goodness and kindness. We declare your mercies that are bound to us that we celebrate it, O God. Ah, Lingra Dabo Seke Baba. You are God. You are not just man. You are not just human. You are the great God. We worship you. You are King of Kings. You are sovereign. You are Lord of Lords. You are mighty. You are sovereign and you are mighty to be worshipped. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Rahikla Baba Baruso Pregedisto. We bless your name. 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 We praise your name. We honor your name. We adore your name. We magnify your name. Lord, you are a good God. Baba Romoko Shikete Braniande. Ike de Te Mama Mantra Mama Maga Santo Kurego Shikeriande. Lord, you are God. Lord, you are God. Lord, you are God. Lord, you are God. Thank you, Heavenly Father. How amiable are thy tabernacle, O Lord of all. How amiable are thy tabernacle, O Lord of all. Thy soul longer, yea, evil fainted. For the cause of the Lord, my heart and my flesh cried out for the living God. Barokoshte embregedo babalikese. Let's worship Him from the depth of our hearts this morning. This evening, let's exalt Him for His His gracious and kind God. That my soul longer. The evil fainted for the fall of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cried out for the living God. 
Barra <laughs> Engra digla dus ke to bebe ke baliani men musti vragato pre ke baba bakaliani we worship you we worship we bless you lord we bless your holy name your name lord your name lord your name oh lord we bless your holy name. We bless you, Lord. We bless you. We bless you, Lord. We bless your holy name. Your name, my Lord. Your name, Lord. Thank you, Father. Your name, oh Lord, we bless your holy name. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Father, we exalt you. Father, we adore you. Father, we magnify you. Father, we glorify you. Who is like unto thee, O God, among the gods who is like thee, glorious in holiness, and fearful in praises, doing wonders. We thank you for what you're doing over our lives. We thank you for what you're doing in our midst as a church, as a ministry. Thank you for what you're doing in our individual families. We worship you. We celebrate you. We honor you. We adore you. We magnify you. We bless you. We thank you. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your mercies. We thank you for your newness in our lives on a daily basis. Thank you. Blessed be your name, Father. We give you glory. We give you praise. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Uh, it's a privilege for me to be in the midst, in the house today. So I want to thank God, and I do not want to take it for granted. I share with Pastor, the senior pastor, on earlier this week. I I I take it as a privilege, as a blessing. So I look forward to the meeting, even if we just to pray together. I look forward to it each time, and when the opportunity comes. My aim today is first to be able to pray together, and secondly to add a little bit more points on what we shared the last time. For those who are present, we began talking about administrative administrative responsibilities before we stop. I will just, I will just highlight a bit of that today. But over and above that, I'd like us to just spend a bit of time to put together in the light of where my own heart is. And, um, just to share together and pray together and commend the rest of this year to the hands of the Lord. You know, two weeks ago, two weeks ago, as I thought personally and thought about my weekly broadcast, God began to bring to my mind that he is willing and able to crown this year for me, to crown this year for his children with his goodness. And that scripture, it seems to be a religious, not, the, not religious, I'm looking for, the normal scripture we remember as the year goes to an end, Isaiah 65 verse 11. Personally, it comes to my mind a lot, Isaiah 65 verse 11, that he crowns the year with his goodness. Yeah? Yes, Hello? I told my background not. I think we yeah. should not allow me to meet myself and brother for life. Thank you. All right, please go. Please go ahead. Okay, all right. 
So, so in the light of in the light of that, you know that God wants to crown the year with His goodness for us. And so, two weeks ago, I began to think about it, and He gave me five acronyms, which I was what I shared on Wednesday, on my weekly broadcast. He probably spoke about review the year, resolve, re request, receive, and rejoice. And when I got those five acronyms, it, it dawned on me that God actually meant it because I've been preaching from uh, Psalm 65, verse 11, for, for God knows how long. Sorry, I was trying to make sure that there's not much of destruction here too. Praise God. All right, so, so when, when I got those five um, acronyms, I began to get to the point that, oh, God actually wants me to maximize the end of the year, truly. So if you look at as, um, Psalm 65, verse 11, the Bible says, the Lord crowns the year with his goodness and his part dropped fatness. But that's not where it began. It begins from verse five down to the end of that point. And intentionally, God brings results. He brings wet. He wets the ground, and He commands. He commands increase. He commands greatness. You know, He commands advancement by His own power. He decides that things must change. He makes sure that things happen. Like He sends rain. He wets the ground. He makes it soft. Then there's planting. Then there's result. And it does it because of his own divine ability. So it's like I see there's an intentional way of preparing for the, for the harvest that is God inter, uh, desires. Now, that is applicable for our personal life. It's applicable for our family life. It's applicable for our businesses. And it's applicable for our ministry. It's a principle that if we can adapt and apply, we will make outstanding progress in our lives, and we will be able to enjoy the fullness of what is ahead, waiting for us to enjoy as we see the end of the year. And I made one statement of God to me that we operate in time. God was in eternity. But in spite of the fact that God operates in eternity, he still respects and honor the fact that we are finite in our thinking and that we operate within short space. That's why you will find in the scripture, it says, but this time next year, as the Lord leaves, so and so and so will happen. That's why you will find that God expects us that, you know, it says the harvest of this year will meet, you know, the, we meet the, um, the, the, the new harvest, the plowing time of this year will meet the harvest of last year. Meaning that you'll be so much happy of harvest this year that by the time it is planting time, I mean, harvesting time next year, your pants is not yet empty. So God works in eternity, but he preach with us in a limited, lim, limited uh, mindset in time. So when each year wants to run to an end, even though a thousand years is like a day before God, God still expects us to give an account at the end of each year, to give a bountiful harvest at the end of each year, to look forward to something, you know? So both as individuals, as, you know, uh, if a family and as a church, there are, the, there are things that God wants us to be able to say, ah, see what God did this year, you know? That's why in the case of Hannah, she went to Shiloh year by year. And when they came to Shiloh year by year, they always had a reason to go. They want to go with testimonies. But when she didn't have a testimony, it was a burden for her. And God recognizes that body to the extent that when she got to Shiloh that year in 1 Samuel chapter 1, verse 17 and 18, and she was a woman of a soulful heart, she was pouring her heart to God. Eli said, okay, you are, it shall be unto you according to your desire. And she went and her countenance was no more sad. But you see, the following year, by the time she came, she said, I'm going to wait until my child is mature to present to God. So she returned back to Shiloh with something to present. Praise God. Because God expects a year after year, there's something we are going to bring. There's something we're looking forward to. There's a change we want to have. Praise God. So as we go towards the end of this year, we're going to do these five things. I'll just rush through it as, uh, 
for each in each of us and expect that the next eight weeks, God would make that transformation to happen with us in the name of Jesus Christ. And it's, it's what's the priority of my heart now. It's what I'm sharing right now and what I'm praying myself. So the first one is to reveal. Now, if, if, you, if you have access to my weekly broadcast, I really will encourage you to go and watch it uh, for this Wednesday on YouTube, Heritage of God Ministries YouTube channel. And, and you can find it, or you can just Google it in YouTube. Crowning the year, the five hours. Crowning the year, the five hours. So here's the first one is review. We're going to review a little bit. We're going to review, and then we're going to resolve. We're going to request. We're going to receive, and then we're going to rejoice, okay? We start with a review. So harvesting at the end of the year, in the next two months, will be effective if we review now. Because the people review at the end of the year, and it's too late to make any change. That's why we have quarterly reviews in any organization that's quarterly reviews. In any church, that should be quarterly review. In any family, that should be quarterly review. And then, of course, there will be monthly review. But even if you don't have a weekly review, there will be monthly review. At least every month, you make a budget of how much are we making, how much are we going to spend. I'm, I'm trying to improve on that on a, on a monthly basis. But quarterly reviews there, and then annual reviews there, all right? So assuming that realizing that we have two months to go and we are going to review at the end of December what the year has been. By the time you are reviewing at the end of the year, you can't change anything for this year anymore. You can only change in view of next year. And I want us to apply it beginning from now. God made me to understand that eight weeks is too much for him to still bring transformation in my life and family. Eight weeks for a change, too much for God. If he, God, made the heaven and the earth in six days, and on the seventh day he rested, it means eight weeks is too much for God. Seven weeks before Christmas, too much for God. So there might be things in our mind that we're still looking unto God for. There will be things in our hearts as families, as individuals, as a ministry, as a church, that we're believing God from January to do, but it's 10 months, yes, but two months, too much for God to still do what he will do so that the end of the year would end with, with bounties, so that his path would drop fatness for us at the end of this year in the name of Jesus Christ. And so if you look back to the last comment I made um, about two or three months ago, talking about monthly report as, as units, for example, as department. It's part of the same principle. So we begin by review. How has this year been so far? Let's start with our personal life. So we're going to pray a little bit more in the next few minutes. I won't take you for too long. My mission is very clear today. I want us to pray together and I want us to review a little bit about um, administrative improvement in the operation of the church. All right, we'll pray together for personally for the brethren and all that. And then we'll talk briefly about administrative reporting that will enhance progress in the light of the plan of God for each of us. So it, this is not so much, um, it's not so much about a technical meeting, it's about, bring, about a prayer meeting and a challenge. A meeting we will have, I'm sure we'll have one more meeting or two this year, we'll be able to now practicalize some of the things we're going to be praying about today. I'm coming back with feedback. But you see, I find it much more relevant when I start with personal need, personal life, before I apply to ministry or any other thing, okay? So number one, we're going to review what has this year been like? What was your desire at the beginning of the year? And what is it today? The Bible says the path of the justice is a shining light that shines brighter and brighter onto the perfect day. That means there's a perfect day. That means there's an expectation. Job 8, 7 says, though your beginning was small, your later day should greatly increase. That means God expects increase. So the question is, how have I gone so far? What area of my life I need God to touch me? Remember the case of uh, Blanc Bartimius? 
when he came, when Jesus was passing through, and he began to cry and say, Jesus, he only heard that Christ was passing. He said, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. And the Bible says that when she, he cried for mercy, Jesus stood still. He couldn't go anymore. And he commanded that he be brought to him. Now, when they got to him, he said, rejoice. He called that thee and he came to Jesus. Do you know that Jesus Christ asked him another question again? What do you want? I mean, you would be wondering, why would he be asking, what do you want? Hallelujah. This time I, this time I received my sight. All right. Even when the, Jesus got to the pool of Bethesda and the Lord was asking that man that was been sick for 38 years, the man was talking to stories about, I don't know, man. That's not the question. Do you like to be made whole? Was the Lord Jesus Christ was asking. How can he be asking somebody who has been lame and he knew that he's been there for 38 years? Is he asking him, Do you want to be well? <laughs> so you, our prayer will not be effectual when we have not taken time to review and know precisely what change do I want? What transformation do I really desire? And I'm, I'm seeing everybody's name, here, all the 10 of us that are here. I haven't seen Pastor Gunnar online. Is he there? Okay, I can see you now. Praise God. Um, is Mrs. Gunnar on, online? And I'm going to come back to roll calls. That's not my priority today. Um, I was hoping that everybody would be there, so I wouldn't need to be going to make, make roll calls. But the point is that I, my heart is trusting God that this year for me and my family will end in outstanding testimonies. And God is challenging me, review first. What have you desired? Where have you gotten to? Many don't do that. We just keep praying and praying and praying. And when we pray, even we don't even pray with precision and accuracy. If G, we just pray, we really pray. After the end of one hour, what did you ask us? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not castigated. It happens to even myself sometimes. And we feel good. I feel good at prayer because you know, just pray. I'm, I'm not asking anything, even in the presence of God, that's refreshing, you know that about that. But this time around, I want to challenge you. What really do you want God to do? For example, for the Akila days now, what crossed my mind? What, what's at the top of your heart for Joe? For example. I'm sure you have prayer point for all your children. What's on your heart for Joe, for Joseph, for example, with precision and accuracy? So this year, all the time you've been praying for Joseph, what exactly have you been praying for him? If, you, if, if somebody sat you down now, what's your heart desire for your son? What would you say? Right? Where has he gone to? Where is he at the moment? Where are you envisaging him to get to? So the first thing, reveal. Review your life, review your family life, review your financial life, review your ministry life, review, review, review. Where are you? Where am I? Right? You see, when we review, the Bible says this in the book of, in the book of Proverbs 27, verse 23. It says, be thou diligent to know the state of your flocks and look well to your herds. That's not talking only for pastors. Your flock is like, you know, in those days, they are farmers. So he's talking to them, and look at the state of your business. Understand how everything is going, right? And for ministry, of course, you can apply. We're going to pray for the brethren, for example, now. What's the state of my house fellowship? What's the state of the unit that I'm leading? That's, that's on ministry level. For me as a person, where am I at? This year, what have I trusted God for? Where have I gotten to review? And until we do that, we are unable to take stock and we are unable to actually be precise what really we want because we will be unable to be able to define what our trajectory is. If I don't know my trajectory, I don't know what must change. But if I think and I review where I'm at, I say, hey, the way I'm going, hey, hey. I found the mountain in the next three years. Something must change now. That's where progress can happen. That's when change can happen. You've trusted God for a new increase in your position at the level of your department in the government office, and you are believing the Lord for that change to happen. Only if you review. It is when you review, 
you will be able to even know how to get to the dream place you are dream dreaming about, whether you are doing what you're supposed to do or not. Because sometimes some people have dreams, but they don't have goals. And it happens to all of us. Oh, I wish I would do this. You keep wishing. If you review how your life is, you will tell yourself, the way I'm going, I'm not sure I will get to this dream in five years' time. What must I change now? You get the point? That's number one. Number two, resolve. So if I go back to review, for example, you see, we've been on as a church for so many number of years. There might have been different ways we've been doing church, different expectations, all right? But the point is right now from this instance, if I was going to apply this to the church, okay, where are we going? How are we going to get there? What, are we, what must we do to get there? It starts in the place of review. But now when you review, you would discover that it's not, you may discover that it's not as bad as you thought. Because sometimes we are so much disappointed with ourselves. You know, we want more than what we think we're feeling. But when we sit down to really think through, you say, well, it's not so bad. Thank God for this. I thank God for this. Because review tells you to identify what you can thank God for, what you're not happy about. Isn't it so? So when you, if you list all the things you've achieved, for example, as a church, oh, we have a building, oh, we're fixing, a lot of repair is taking place, and things like that. And you will say, oh, no, we're not enough in number. There is no you know, excellence in operation. What about the spiritual depth of the people? What is our account as a church? Where are the brethren and all this kind of stuff? Oh, we thank God for um, everybody. We even have a property there. Where are the brethren? What are the state of things? What is their word level? What is our state of our house fellowship? So pros and cons, you will see both of them. That is good and bad. But you will discover something that is not as bad as you thought. Review helps you to know where to make changes and helps you to also find God. So the next thing is to resolve. And I tell myself that what the Bible says that in all things give them, whatever the situation you observe, resolve to first of all thank God. Any day, any time, anywhere, resolve to first of all thank God. I'm talking to leaders now. I'm talking to, I'm preaching to you what you must have preached to other people. All right? But that's just the way it is. I'm sharing with you as a reminder, so to speak, of how to go to the next level because change is permanent. And until we, you know, iron sharpen iron, the Bible says, so a man sharpen the countenance of his friends. That's my aim. So when you resolve to thank God, first of all, you also resolve to change where you need to change. Because until that resolution comes to change, end of the year will come, nothing will have happened. But if we resolve to thank God for how he has blessed us this year, and we resolve to change, the inadequacies we notice that we have not enjoyed up to this point. Eight weeks is too much for God to Im 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 implement it. The rest of this year, things can go so quick, all right? All the losses through COVID, if God, if we sit down to resolve to think, to get ideas and concepts and knowledge of which inventions from him, it will give us ideas of what to do next. So resolve to thank God. Bible says, if it has not been for the Lord on our side, what will Israel, Israel say? It, of the Lord, miss, we're not consumed because his compassion failed not. You, you realize that I, I just thank God. And then you say, Lord, help me to make these changes. Help me to make these changes. Now, when we thank God, look at Psalm 50, verse 14 and 15. Good news says it this way. Let the giving of thanks be your sacrifice to God. Let the giving of thanks be your sacrifice to God. Give the Almighty all that you promised. You know, I could come here today and begin to share with you and just start kind of thinking, how is your department? How is the church? Uh, maybe asking the senior pastor, how is everything going? Who is doing what? We, that, that, that's not where we're going to start. Never start at that level with yourself as we go to the end of this year. Begin by, look at verse 14. Let the giving of thanks be your sacrifice to God. Don't start with the complaints of what's not adequate. Don't start with the complaints of how things are terrible. Mm -mm. Let the giving of thanks be your sacrifice to God. And we all know what sacrifice is. You do sacrifice oblations, if I use our local 
um, traditional language, because they want to appease, they want to appease the gods. But let sacrifice of thanksgiving precede the blessing that you want to un- you want God to unleash on you. So let giving of thanks be your sacrifice to God and give the Almighty all that you promised. And then look at verse 15. Call to me when trouble comes. I will save you. I will, and you will praise me. So sacrifice of thanksgiving, then call upon me. Sacrifice of thanksgiving, then call upon me. So when we resolve to thank God, then we move to the next one, which is request. It's when we have thanked God enough, we can now make a demand on God for the next phase. Because when we reveal, we see where we are, we will be disappointed in some things. God, we may even want to cry, God, when will you change this about my situation? Yeah. Enter his presence with thanksgiving and is caught with praise. Then go and request of him and say, Lord, I ask you to do this thing for me. I ask you for light. I ask you for direction. I ask you for help in the name of Jesus. So you request. And people go to request. Oh, let's come for prayer meeting at the end of the month. They go to request without even knowing what they want to do. Without even listing what they want to do. So if this year is going to bring its bountiful harvest, so each of us in this platform, how many of us are here? Well, 10. Each of us in this platform, 10 or 11 or 12, maybe it's people are in the group. Let's resolve that we will have a list. So I want to make a request of you as leaders. Can we spend, today is 30, tomorrow is 31st, and not yet in November. Can we spend part of today and tomorrow to reveal, make a list of two things. Number one, list of what you can thank God for. Then number two, a list of what you desire God to still do for you as we see the end of this year approaching. Right? You review, then you resolve. The resolution will be a list of things you can thank God for. Look for them. And then a list of things you still want God to do for you, list them. And then we begin to pray about them. We begin to pray about them. If you are a unit leader, for example, and you don't review the way your unit is, or how you are performing your ministry, you can't change. No? For example, now, at the last statement I made to Brother Emmanuel in our last meeting was, if I entered your office and I lift my, a, a fire, on the shelf or whatever it is, and I open it, can I go straight to the record of events that happened two months ago, or even a year or two years or three years ago? I know they are littered all over the place, but I'm not there, I'm just imagining. I'm sure they're there. Can I get into your office and pull a fat on your shelf? And I think I remember giving you a challenge, buy some folders and organize things. Now. Don't give me an answer. From that last time when we spoke and now, has anything changed? If it hasn't changed, those are things you would list. I must change about it. I need help about it. I need improvement in my ministry. That's ministry now. What about your life? My finances, my health, my son, my wife. You get the point? Now let's get into the end of this year with intentionality, purposefully, and with resolve. Let's get there with intentionality, purposefully with resolve, and let's do it by faith. Let's not crown this year um, haphazardly. Let's not, if you end this year haphazard, 2022 will be haphazard. But if we want a change in 2022, the next eight weeks is a platform that will give you a template for next year, both in your business, in your family, and in the work of God that God has come to into your hands. I might communicate. I'm talking to leaders here. And my imagination is that you will replicate what we are sharing here to those who work with you or under you and things like that. Or you will also replicate it with your children as a family. We want, the Bible says, the path of the just as a shining light that shines brighter and brighter unto the perfect days. That only happens 
when you make the necessary change that ought to take place. That's my challenge to you today. Amen? Praise God. So you've reviewed, you've resolved, and then you will make a request. Okay? So today and tomorrow, we're going to do that. And you list your prayer points, I mean, your praise items, and you list your, 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 your prayer request. And then we were going to pray for divine intervention, we pray for outstanding success, and we pray for divine distinctions in all of our pursuits. Praise God. And as we do that, look at what the Bible says in, there's one prayer I want to pray today. In Psalm 18, verse 28 and 29, the Bible says, for thou will light my candle. The Lord, my God, will enlighten my darkness. For by thee, a troop. by my God, have I leaped over a wall. Look at this scripture very closely. Look at this scripture very closely. Amen. Look at this scripture very closely. Thou will light my candle. Everybody knows what a candle is. A candle is a potential. A candle is a capacity. When you have candle, you know that darkness cannot torment you anymore. But when the candle is not ignited, it's wasted. Lord, ignite my potential. Lord, set my potential ablaze so that it will be of benefit both to me and to those that are relating with me. That's a, that's a real prayer for transformation. For example, now, Dr. Adi for example, let me see if he's still on, on ground. Praise God. I can't see him anymore right now. Okay. Let me, assuming that he was on ground, I was going to use him as an example. In his new endeavor, right? It begins with the Lord lighting my darkness. The Lord will light my candle. The Lord, my God, will enlighten my darkness. Ignite my potential. Give clarity in the area of my confusion. If I'm going to change, if I'm going to experience the, the long and lasting advancement that I'm trusting God for, I must have new insight. My potential must brighten up. Can I say this to you? It's too early to retire. And I'm using the word figuratively. The path of the just is a shining light. When I say figuratively, I'm not saying that you shouldn't have retired. I'm, I mean, to retire in life. It's too early to stop at desiring new things. It's too early to stop look, uh, believing God for greater anointing, greater power, greater wealth, greater insight, greater impact. It's too early for anybody on this platform for that matter. It's too early. And if we don't intentionally desire to be challenged to go to the next level, you just play too, and that's it. And it is easier and more comfortable to play too. But the Bible says, iron sharpened iron. That's why, and that's how the, a friend sharpened the countenance of his friend. And we're friends in this platform. My road today is to ignite something that will make us desire something higher. You see, we can't desire something higher and greater in the heritage of God church, in the growth of the church, in the anointing, in the power, if your life doesn't have a natural desire to improve as a person. You've got to transform yourself. 2022, where will you be? Remember I was, I was crying and shouting about 2020 in uh, four, five years, six years ago. And suddenly 2020 went and passed. We're now going to put 2025 or something like that now. But let's even say 2022, two months time. God operates in eternity. We operate in time. If we don't segment accountability seasons for ourselves, we will stagnate. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. He now said in verse, he now said in the next verse, it says, it says in verse 29, for by thee, I have run through the troops, and by my God, I have leaped over the wall. You can't run through the troops, you can't leap over the wall, except your candle is sparked. You can't run through the troops, you can't leap over the wall, except your darkness is enlightened. 
any area where I'm still struggling is a darkness. If I'm not getting communication in my marriage, that's a darkness. If I don't understand how to make my, um, my cash flow to balance in my family, that's a darkness. If my business is stagnated at some point, that's a, there's something not clear about it. I, got, I, I need to have a new light. That's a prayer point. Otherwise, it would be, it would be lunacy to expect a change and continue the same thing. If in Hedgehog of God Church, we do not give attention to report writing, review of the report, beginning with our departments, on a quarterly basis, on a half, on a half yearly basis, and we say, oh, 2022, yeah, we, maybe we already, I'm sure the senior pastor already have a new theme for, for 2022. I know that God is speaking with him and brewing his heart towards that. But if you don't review, uh, 2022 will end and we'll still be on the same spot where we are today. And nobody else will be taking, uh, will be held responsible but you and I. Do we want a change in our lives? Do we want a change in our church? Do we want a change in our department? This is how we start. So what we're doing now, which is targeted towards the next eight weeks, is actually not about the next eight weeks. It's about the future of our life. It's about the future of our ministry, about the future of our children. It will be a template to work with. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. I'd like you to see this. So when we get to the place of prayer, I'm, not, I'm, going, to, I'm going to jump on something. So then, 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 then we pray and we list those things. So when you have reviewed, you, you, you really dedicate time. And I want us uh, to take it up, you know, as, as, a, as, as a leadership. We're going, to, we're going to really plan towards this year ending in grandiose style so that it becomes a template for the greatness of next year. For example, when you review, you also review the trend of things. I don't know what business you do as individuals if you don't observe the trend of things with this post-COVID era, you will remain behind and business methodology will have changed and you'll be stagnated in the dreamland and the progress you really would want to have, you won't have it by next year. Thinking business will be run the same way they were running before. In, in the school, in the educational the sector of a business, in the health sector, in the law department, law sector, in, 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 in hospitality and welfare, any sector of business we are doing, even in the academic environment, that something must change in my life that I may explain the change that I desire. If we don't continue to strengthen our house fellowship centers and train the leaders to be effective, 2025 will come. You'll be strong, if Jesus hasn't come, you'll be strangulating how to keep the brethren together and have a thriving church. Let's work on review. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. So I'm going to ask us to pray in a short while. After we've prayed, then we'll come back to discuss a few things. But I'm hoping that this is a blessing to us. So you, 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 you review, you resolve, you make a request of God in prayer, and then you make up your mind to receive. We receive it by faith. We receive it. We know that he hears us. And if you know that we hear us, we know that we receive the question we ask of him. And then we rejoice. We maintain attitude of joy while we are expecting the change to manifest. That's why Hannah was able to say, and Bible says her countenance was no more sad. She received a child immediately. Eli has spoken, and I mean she hadn't even had uh, um, intimacy with her husband, but she was happy. Oh, I got this. One month hasn't passed, and you know, I, it's correct me if I'm wrong. I think most ladies, you don't confirm that pregnancy has occurred until you miss your period once, twice, three times. You say, ah, if the person missed a period one time, you say, you say, ah, maybe it's just something. Maybe it's just treasure or something. The following year, I missed a period. They will quickly do my uh, pregnancy test. But the third one, I said, no, this is tri first trimester. All right. But she was just on the first day alone. And her countenance was no more sad. Now she's happy. I got my miracle. That's the attitude for the change. 
Because the change may not happen immediately, but the composure will be with joy. The attitude will be with expectation. The Bible says in the book of Isaac 12 verse three, with joy, you will draw out of the well of salvation with joy. We cannot draw out of the wells of salvation with sadness. You may have prayed heaven down. If you lose your joy in the presence of waiting for the breakthrough, forget it. It won't come out. Joy pulls it out. Because in the presence of God, there's fullness of joy. So when joy is not there, God is not there. You know, so that's the attitude to receive. Those five things are, I'm bringing over it. I'm, I mean, they're not new things you haven't known, but they're a message that has come together at a point like this for me. And I thought I could share it with you. So what do we want to happen in the next two months? Eight weeks. Eight weeks, too much. Eight weeks, too much for the miracle we are trusting God for. Eight weeks, too much for God to do what he can do. But we've got to prepare to lay hold on it. We've got to prepare by taking these five steps. And we'll see what God will not do. Hallelujah. But this is where we are. This is what I want to share with you right now. So we're going to pray. We're going to pray for ourselves. We're going to pray for our family. We're going to pray for uh, the church and for the unit that we are responsible for, for the brethren. What should happen? Lord, crown this year with your goodness. Amen. Why are we going to the place of prayer? We go with two things. We go with one, praise items. We're going to thank him for a request that we're going to make. And we resolve to come out from his presence. We rejoice it so that we can enjoy what he has in mind. We can't do all that within the next 10, 15 minutes, but that's a template. Does that make some sense? So this is 9.58 right now. Okay, this is um, 4.58 your time. So in the next two minutes, just sit come quiet and think, what can I thank God for? What do I want God to do afresh so that, I, so that this year will be crowned with success, with fatness for me? What can I thank God for? What do I want God to do for me afresh? Can we talk to the Lord in the next few minutes? I mean, I'll think about it before we start praying actually. Think about something in the next two, three minutes first. Take your time, think, reveal, make it personal. I'm not, I'm not praying for church yet. I'm not praying for the brethren yet. You as, and your wife or your children, just you and your household, All right? I like you, a place I'm, I'm really requested. I like you to be intentional about this how. What can I thank God for? Yeah. What can I thank God for? For glory, for example. Look for testimony items. 
intentionally look for it. Don't begin by looking for what is inadequate. Look for what is praiseworthy. Whatever is worthy of praise, think on these things. I thank you, Father. I thank you, Father. Ah, I'm thanking you for Francis Suduman. Thank him for your son. Thank him for your husband. What can you thank him for, for your spouse? What can you thank him for in the legal department of your state concerning your personal career? Do you have things to thank God for at Adorable? Do you have something to thank God for in your business? Your health? Raha te so ta pa te lato. Mangradi susi ke te pa pa ta la kuti ke te ke tu pari. Angradi shte kumbra liki susi ke te la. Oka. 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 I can da cruz ke ti ko puka pa. Entro na diste ke to bra galadia cruz ke te ko. Oga. Lingra da kama suta pika li to ko. Iku. Oga. Lingra da go si ke te pa si ka to bra liade. Let's begin to thank him in every way. Every way. Even what is inadequate. Thank him. Ten months are gone and you are still alive. Thank you. Papa, ah, Shambra da Bogi Gala Bobo Kuriyadi. Your son traveled, he came back with testimony and sound safety. Thank you. Ah, Nika Tambra do Sekete Papaya. You were sick, you are, you became well. Thank you. You are called as a co laborer in the house of God. Thank you. Rika Paliko deke doko peke diki baba wa kaliados. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Now let's begin to thank God. Let's begin to thank God for the church. Begin to thank God for the brethren. Begin to thank God for our departments. Begin to thank God for the units we lead. I mean, my time is limited, but we could take this for length of time. First with our personal family before we even go to the church. But now we just want to go in and start thanking God for heritage of God church. In, in, in the battle. In the land, in, in a devil day, in the preaching post in Kutilo, just thanking for the brethren. Thanking for the departments and the operation up to this point. We are far from the mark, but thank him where we are. Thank you, God. The grand and most soprani a patolaba. Becra digi to seek a tombra gabalicus ketish to Kupikidia. Ray Gada so sizi gada bogodica bagadayada. O God, O God, O God, O God, O God. As somebody among us, as something you have to thank God for. It's a body in your heart. This one is personal now, not ministry. It's a worry for you. Yeah, it's a concern to you. God is saying, I want you to thank me for it, for the progress so far. It's far from the map of what you want God to have done. But God is saying, why would you not thank me? Make your thanksgiving a sacrifice unto God. Open your mouth and make your thanksgiving a sacrifice. Yes, it's not up to mark yet, but make your thanksgiving a sacrifice. Bangra do seketo prahada. We thank you. We choose to thank you. Thank you for our marriages. Thank you for our finances. Thank you for our children. Thank you, God, for what is not adequate. Bangra do seketo beragali gadeketo bangra di gelimokraso. Zigede Katus Ketope Beda. Oh God. Thank you. 
Thank you. Yes. Thank you. 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 Thank Father, we are grateful. We are grateful. We are grateful. It's a choice we made to give you thanks as a sacrifice. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Here's a witness I have in my spirit. As you choose to list the items of inadequacy before me in the place of appreciation, doors will begin to fling open for you as a person. As you choose to present to me the sacrifice of thanksgiving, I shall arise and show myself strong on your behalf, said the Lord. God is going to prove himself. Eight weeks, too much for God. Eight weeks this year, too much for God. If I seven weeks, I tell you, I'm doing Christmas, you say, see what the Lord has done. See what the Lord has done. See what the Lord has done. So shall it be. Thank you, Father. Now, all the least you have of what you want God to do, now begin to pray in tongues about them. You will take time later on to, to, to pray them in details. But right now, I want to present them in the, in, in, just pray in tongues. Have them at the back of your mind and pray in the spirit about every aspect that you want eight God to do in the next seven weeks. This year, just this year. The Lord, I believe you. Mention and pray in the spirit. Mention, pray in the spirit. Mention, pray in the spirit. If you are doing any other thing right now, apart from this meeting, stop every other thing in the next five, seven minutes and focus on what you are doing right now. If you are in, in, the, in the shop or in the business place, take excuse and spend the next 10 minutes apart from where anybody is. And then after that, you can then engage. But for now, just stop everything you're doing and just pray in the Holy Ghost. Because you've made a, you have an idea of request, pray in the spirit. God wants to surprise you this year, and He wants to surprise me. As you pray in the Holy Ghost, let your mind be focused on what you're asking. And if, if of course, if it comes through your mouth in your understanding, make a statement about it. Continue praying the Holy Ghost. Make a declaration about it. Continue praying the Holy Ghost. God is, He will send His angel to effect a change. This year, he wants to crown it for us with his goodness. He wants to cross his steps before us to drop fatness, and he will do it. Bangra di kapolo koshke di baba bahaya. Zubrega do breke de ke popo kopeke dia. Dikla du sketro peke to preke to peke dia. Bingro stefre kla du sketro mike papa bakaliando. Zubrage delika skata papa. Ziveke to pepeke to pepeke dia. Barukle di gizika skanto koro boko shata baya. Meniangra du seketoba. Jiragigi la banga di gledus ketora. Meni mo sobra. Pegi di vaglande kratus kete. Shte vegalika skatambre gediago. Bangra di shte keto. Meku zizika ta. Shoreka papati kaligo. Baberago gediki papa pataliado. Oh God. Zivre de bohoshte. Zivre de bohoshte. Zivre de bo gobebe gediago. Babanga di gledus ketro pepe ke vagelika si seke begili ke se ketro miki bukoli katra babaka di ke lika sketoria baruke gidi alus this year seven weeks too much seven weeks too much God intervene oh God baruma ki se kata papa arise on the behalf of your house on the behalf of your children on the our behalf. Lord, Linga, oh God, I beseech thee, I beseech thee, send now prosperity. Let grace come, oh Lord, enlighten my darkness, spark my candle, illuminate my potentiality. 
There's no point for me to have potential and it doesn't bring results. Lord, spark the light onto my candle that I may brighten up for my benefit and for those who are here. Lord, enlighten my darkness in the name of Jesus Christ. A new insight, new knowledge of witty invention, new insight of what to do to move to the next level. Father, what must I do for the chain to take them? Reveal to each of us, oh God. Baraki katu so prekeria galaba. Minimum subra mesh to vegalis. Bagrandu kaika alikati bababa kaliande. Oh God, we believe this. Seven weeks, too much for you. Go, Sam, me, zo, ze, za, bagadu sekedia. Rega gigo do bebe kababa kababa kaliande. Babanga dish the vega bolo, eruke zizi getege, ikadroni, anga duske popele, erakub legisco troni, igadu so pregeria, babanga diki aluske tromege, bake of digizi, babanga dika duske trobegeria, menimus atupa, pangrani agupe calique baba bacaliano. Oh God, baba 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 baba. Oh God, oh God, oh God, Yera Pocosta, make a sata. Make a bread, man bread douce, zivre deso, man bread gaboche, ingra baba bagelia, rei gadus ke du breget baba geli ke zize ke tronigo. Good God Almighty. Good God Almighty. Good God Almighty. Good God Almighty. Thank you. Thank you. Rei ka sata. Crown this year, O God, with your goodness. Cause your path to drop fatness for us. Crown this year with your goodness. Cause your path to drop fatness for us. In the name of Jesus Christ. That the drop upon the pastures of the wilderness and the little hills rejoice on every side. The pastures are closed with flocks. The valleys are covered over with corn. They shout for joy. They also sing, Oh God, make this our testimony. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In the name of Jesus, we give you praise, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. I'd like us to pray, even though we haven't discussed much about the state of the church and about the state of our reports, we will touch on it after this Bible. My priority is just for us to pray for us. But I know that we need to do a lot of digging in on, a, on an individual basis after this meeting. When you dig in, how is your portfolio, for, particularly for those who have direct portfolio? You see, here is the truth. You are the one on ground to do the work that God is doing. And I'm intentional about it. God is the one doing the work. But you are the one on ground to do the work. If the work is not done well, you are the one that will be held responsible. Not angels, not God, but you. Now, that responsibility begins with the senior pastor, of course, to the resident pastor, to pastor in um, Odebody and Kuanko. Let's, not, let's even remove that paraphernalia and, and of responsibility. Bring it to our individual responsibility of what you are doing that will make the entire conglomerate improvement to take place. You're, you're going to be held responsible. Your house fellowship, your Bible study responsibility, your intercession, your activity groups, your personal intercession for the church, your follow up and evangelism, whatever thing you're responsible for is you, nobody else. Not the church. But you, if a member of the house fellowship, a member of the church is not well catered for, it is the house fellowship leaders who are responsible, plus the activity group leaders, not the church, not even the pastor, to be frank with you. It's you, but you are the local pastor. Okay, let's pray now. So Father, crown this year for me in my ministry. Cause your part to drop fatness for me. How does that interpret? I'll be more effective in my personal work with you. I'll be more effective in my role in the church. 
that they'll be more effective and it will show in the lives of the brethren I have oversight over. I'll be more effective and it will show in the way I do my report writing every, every month. I'll be more effective and to show in the way I keep to time in meetings. I'll be more effective and to show in the way the welfare of the brethren is taken here. And I'll be more effective and to show in the way my service is bringing increase to the kingdom of God. Can you pray? Can you pray? Crown this year for us as a church, beginning with me. Cause this your part of job fighting this year. I don't want to be just you know the, the same thing now and again. I don't want this to be a ritual. I want a definite change. I take responsibility that the increase will happen significantly if I increase. Oh God, therefore, lighten my candle. Oh God. Enlighten my darkness. Oh God, empower me afresh. Oh God, grant me effectiveness in my service. Oh God, give me grace to be definite about change. Oh God, help me and my hand to be strengthened. Oh God, teach my hands to warm my fingers to battle. Oh God, help me to be most desirous of a change that should take place for the progress I need to have. Oh God, let the zeal of your house consume me. Do what you got to do, Father. To help me achieve what I ought to achieve in the physical. Can we pray? Yeah. Can we pray? Barukas Katapaliando. We want the resources of finances for the church. We want the project to be finished. For the lives of the people to be transformed. Oh God, effectiveness in Bible study, effectiveness in in in, in discipleship, effectiveness in anything. Your role is ask God that that will increase, increase in His kingdom as a result of your increase in the name of Jesus Christ. Let this year end well. Let this year end well. Let us begin to lead. Let me begin to move in the direction that will result in an ending year that is great. Let my impact, let my impute, let my commitment be rekindled, be refired. Let my zeal be rekindled. Let my vision be en enlightened. Oh God. La brande populiante. Let me have space and rest round about so that I might be instrumental in advancing your kingdom. Give me rest on about so that I'll be able to do what I ought to do. Father, Agranga Paliande, give me a clear perspective so that I don't do ministry the way the world is doing it at the moment. Let me do it biblically. Give me as a person clarity in my thought. Give us as a group clarity in our thoughts. Let us run, oh God. Let us not be discouraged or be weakened because of what we see. My God, I re renew my strength, oh God. Renew my, my strength, oh God. Rekindle my zeal, oh God. Father, enable me afresh, oh God. Help me to be effective indeed, Father. Baratika Santa Papalia. Just pray in any way it affects you. Through my thought, I will leap over the wall, I will pass through the truth. Every oppression of the enemy will pull it down. We frustrate the pain of the liar. We destroy the oppressions of the wicked. We declare breakthrough concerning this ministry. We say, Father God, advancement on every side in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, oh God. Let your kingdom come in this church. Let your will be done. Oh God, let your kingdom come in the life of the people. And we, let's begin to pray for the members. Crown this year for them, each person, with your goodness. Let yokes be broken. Let the needs be met. Let light shine. Let breakthroughs begin to manifest on every side. Everyone associated and connected to the God, your Father, let there be evident of your hand upon them, of your grace upon them, of your provision for them, of your healing for them, of your strength for them, of your help for them. In the name of Jesus Christ, Baruka Sakatahaya, Jumbrege Degle Dusketo Pepeketo Pepekria, Bagradish Teka to Zivekli Dusketo Peketo Pediani. Oh Lord, do it. Oh Lord, do it. We praise you forever. Oh Lord, do it. That's our request, oh God. We thank you. For, let's begin to thank God. Let's begin to thank Him. Let's just thank him. Let's just praise him. Let's exalt him. Let's adore him.
Thank you, Jesus. Nene, Baba de Yes, thank you. Let's give him thanks. Let's give him praise. He's faithful, he's true, he's merciful, he's kind, he's gracious. Let's thank him. More than we can imagine he will do. More than we can thank him, we can think he will do. This year, several weeks, too much. Several weeks. In the life of the brethren, in their businesses, in their families, in their health. Yes, in every area of their life, seven weeks, too much. We will see a change. We will see a transformation. We will see increase. We will see enlargement. In the name of Jesus. Masata Palahaya. We give you praise. 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 Your name is infinite. grand. Thank you, Lord. Your name is infinite. grand. Your majesty. Reach high up to the heavens. Your name is infinite. Oh Lord, oh Lord, most high, most high God. Your name is infinite. Great, Hallelujah. Oh Lord, eternal, eternal, your majesty, which is high up to the heavens, your name is infinite, great. oh Lord, oh Lord. Thank you. Your name is infinite. great. Hallelujah. Oh Lord. Eternal. Eternal. Your majesty. Which is I up to the heaven? Your name is in me. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Which is I up to the heaven? Your name is in me. Thank you, Lord. 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 We give you praise, Lord. Is to take a puna kayana. Instruct the kotopekadia. In two stopeke to pick a puna kaskadia. Jesus, we thank you this morning. We thank you this evening. We thank you, God, for this how. Shkatiago, 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 is to Felisto, intro so pequedia, Ragudus catico pracapaliados, Eisto fequeto preque papaladi, 
Ma mi che sono e con travala, e ste frenisco un venga diagos. E sto feles che tu o che che paladi. E incluso che te che poco papa caladi. Jesus. 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 Ah. Jesus. Lord, we ask you today. The name of Jesus. Oh God. We begin with our lives. And we commend every one of our lives and our families to you. Oh God. We beseech you. Oh God, we beseech you. We beseech you. Send now prosperity. Lord, we bring a sacrifice of praise. We ask you for divine intervention. Do what only you can do. In the name of Jesus. Do it and let it manifest. Do it and let it show. He was a new song to sing. Cause it to be. And like Hannah brought the bountiful baby Samuel. Even though she was of a soulful heart. Grant that each one of us will bring bountiful testimonies. As we crown this year. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Do it, O God, for the brethren in this assembly, heritage of God Church. In the Lene, in Odebode, in Kotilo. Do it, O God, for everyone connected across the globe. Do it for anyone that plugs in to any point in time. Cause the change and transformation to take place. This year, we trust you. Eight weeks, too much. We will see the manifestation of your divine intervention. We will rejoice in the name of Jesus. In the church, in the life of your, of your children, in their work, in their businesses. Let a new light shine upon each person's life. Father, that you will just brew it, brew a change, brew a transformation. Let it show. In our gatherings, in each person's home, in the home centers, in all that pertain to the of God church. Do more than we can think of God. Forever we preach. This year, cause us to rejoice as we see the end of it happen. In Jesus' name. Every losses, let that be restoration, recompense, and abundance of your blessing. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you because you will do more than we can think of us. Forever we will praise you. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you for this time. And um, I'll just make one or two remarks and then I'll put this in perspective and then I will ask Pastor uh, Zako to make one or two remarks and then I will eventually hand over to Pastor Ogunero. Now, um, okay, glad to see this is Satiti. God bless you. You must have come later. I'm just seeing your name now. You can just thank God you're back now. Praise God for you, Feb. Anyway, let me know the digress. I want to make one two things quickly. I've, 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 two things. One is that I look forward to this fellowship because I just love it. And number two, I have shared with you and led prayer meeting, not because you couldn't have led it yourself. That's what is in my heart to do. And I believe God will bring outstanding results by reason of this 90 minutes exercise in the name of Jesus Christ. And then number three, I'm a man under authority as I lead the organization or whatever, but I come into this meeting, you know, knowing that I, I and, and you all know I touch people all the time, knowing that when I'm leading this meeting, I'm leading it in the light of understanding that um, I'm adding to what is happening on ground, okay? contributing for, for effectiveness. That's basically what I'm doing. And I count the privilege, and I say it every time we meet, it's not because I don't have things to say. I count the privilege to be part of great things that God is doing through you. And my name is involved in it. What a blessing. And the great God who we serve will honor each person, 
will reward each person, will advance each of our lives to the glory and to the praise of his name in the name of Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. So, um, quick roll call. Before I, before I ask Pastor to say a few things, quick roll calls. I said all that. Also, I could say to dovetail to this. Now, I look forward to this monthly meeting, and it's so important. It would be good for all of us to do the same, such that if anybody will miss it, if you can carve out any other things, your own four o'clock is my own uh, nine o'clock in the morning. I had a meeting six to eight this morning. I have this one nine to 11. I have another one at one o'clock. Another appointment between 12 and one, you know, like that. But, but I had to put this in my diary. Nothing else has to take it. Let's do the same with you too. So that when we have a meeting like this or any other meeting at the levels of the local level, just carve out it if you can. Of course, if if you have to, what is the word? If you have to multitask, that's okay. But you know, if you can make the best out of it, it is not only what I was going to share, but also you are ready to receive it. it will make the impact to be delivered. We give God praise. So I am privileged, therefore, to be in this meeting once a month except anything changes. Um, so let's make it a date, particularly each time a date or the next week is confirmed with your diary and let it be real. And I would trust God for us to have an agenda in my heart that will benefit both yourself and myself and will advance the kingdom of God, right? And the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. I shared with Pastor Adam the other day that if you don't, if I jump to come to the Friday meetings, it's because I also look forward to being refreshed. I might not even say a word. But this is the one meeting in the month that I would love to be part of and see everyone. Any other thing going on, I will take permission from the senior pastor and say, can I contribute? Or he will ask me to contribute. Because I see God working and operating at a realm where he has prepared the people on ground. That's why I made this earlier on. If anybody's going to be taken responsible for what is happening in the church or what is not, it's you, all right? So the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. We are privileged to have uh, the opportunity to serve God. At this moment, I want to make two remarks. Number one, whoever is absent from this meeting, I would like to know. I actually wish mommy is here. I was so excited to see her picture at 70. You know, I was telling my wife, I was telling my wife was it yesterday, I said, actually, make up. Makeup is not for young people. All these young girls that are doing makeup, they're just wasting their time. But when you see a 70 year old woman being made up, <laughs> when you see a 70 year old being made up and she looks like she's 25, that's makeup. That's the purpose of the makeup. You make up. Or as if you were still to me. I was going to tease her if I was close. I said, ah, I'll have told daddy. I said, go and to me, go for mommy now because look, she looks just like a radiant bride yet to be married, all right? So um, I wish she was here today just so that we can celebrate her and uh, appreciate God for her. Please help me to develop. Of course, I've visited her for birthday, but I'm saying this officially that um, um, we will always keep demanding on her to be present where she's supposed to be. Same thing goes to daddy himself, supposed to be in this meeting, so please help me develop a message to them. So I, I said that to say that I need to know those who are supposed to be here that are not here. And then secondly, I'll pick up from the only remark I made, which I want us to discuss if you have time today or not be the next meeting. If we do not sit down to do accountability, we will stagnate. If there is no adequate reporting system from every unit or every department to pass to Gunnar's desk, and then Gunnar sits down with it and analyze what is happening there, study it, make recommendations, make changes before he reports to pass on that one, then we will stagnate. There's no the government department that will not give, of course, government department, they may be lax in their own, but they, they still do a lot of due diligence at high level. But private organizations, if they don't do annual or quarterly reports, they're playing. 
and the king's business require haste, the Bible says. So that's a, a, a huge pregnant statement that I've just said in, a, in one or two minutes, which if we have time, we'll do. But otherwise, it will be the next minute. But in the meantime, I want to hand over to Pastor Adam. Uh, well, thank you very much, Pastor. I, I must uh, say that uh, the word that you brought, which was what you shared on YouTube on Wednesday, even though I didn't watch it, it's very apt and it, uh, it's close to home. I think we all need that word for now. And I believe that every one of us that are listening will work on it and we will make it maybe uh, something that will guide us as we prepare towards the end of the year. I, I was saying in my heart that before we start praising God, that's more or less the message that is that is in my heart. Before we start or prepare to praise God, you know, the 12th month of the year is usually referred to as the month of Thanksgiving. But before we do that, it was as if you were reading my mind and I thank God for the word that you have brought. Um, Secondly, I would like to say also that you are part and parcel of the house. And so whenever you come in for meetings or whenever you are boarding to share, you are not you are not crossing any boundaries, you are not trespassing, you are free to come as often as the Lord will allow you. It is the house that the Lord is building, and you Amen. are part and parcel of the foundation. So we are always privileged to hear from you. We are also you know, challenge each time you come on because I believe you are constantly in God's presence and you have a burden for the church. You have a burden for the people. So whenever you come on, you are coming with a word from the Lord and it's always appreciated. So I want to say once again, thank you very much for the word that has been brought. And I pray that it will be a blessing to every one of us as we coast towards the end of the year. God bless you, sir. Amen. Thank you very much, sir. Michigan. Um, so, Pastor Gino, how are we doing in the in the local church? Uh, I, I want to believe we are doing fine, and I want to thank God for the message that you brought as part of the review. Um, just this afternoon, Pastor Edak and I were in a meeting trying to do a review of what has happened in the course of the year. I'm trying to see how we can improve before the end of the year. Um, I think it was actually tally with what was, um, I think, was in God's mind as touching the church. And um, there are areas we need to know that we have to improve, especially the report system. And uh, we are trying to look at that, how we can be better so that uh, people could be, could be able to serve God better, even in their units. But, uh, um, but for now, I, I believe we are good. And then we are looking forward to the new year. The leaders will be having a meeting by the end of the month. I'm sure you will be joining us online um, by the end of the month from 26 to 27th. Together we'll be having a retreat and then you'll be able to join us online um, from Canada. But we are trusting God for a word for the new year and we trust God that God of heaven that has helped us thus far okay. will carry us on his eagle's wing in the mighty Amen. name of Jesus. Amen. Um, some, um, some people were not um, in this meeting, maybe due to some permission. I know Damilola is writing an exam as we speak. Damilola was writing an exam as we speak. My wife um, has to be at Akuret um, today. It took her to back to school today. That's why she's not uh, in this meeting. She's still on her way back. Um, Pastor Adeshokon also took permission. I, I learned it, um, today is the burial of one of his brothers in Lagos. So he has to be born. So that's one of them. I, my, as for Mommy Amosun, Mommy is still celebrating 70. Maybe that's why. <laughs> I understand the, his family members are having um, a, a party, a little party for him, for her at home today. So maybe that's why she couldn't join us online. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. Hallelujah. I think, that, I think that's all, sir, for now, sir. I mean, you want to respond, sir? My, my wife has been shortly in and out of the meeting, anyways. <laughs> okay, sir. <laughs> Maybe you want to make a comment, sir, before we round up, sir. Pastor.
Pastor Kim Delisa, maybe you want to make a comment before we round up. Praise the Lord. Maybe it's Praise network. Maybe, maybe it's network. network. Maybe it's network problem. Uh, maybe maybe we can then round up, sir. Pastor, can Pastor Ida, can you please pray for us as we round up, sir? Sorry, my my internet. I don't know why my computer just. Oh, oh okay, sir. You are welcome back, sir. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Before we uh, wrap, just think maybe you want to make a comment or something on what we have said so far. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yes. Um, sorry, I, I, I didn't get those dates you mentioned. Uh, November 20 something and 20 something. 26 and 27, sir. 26 and 27, okay. Yes, sir. I'll, I'll follow up with more details later. All right, sir. Thank you very much. I think, um, Vlad, how is Falaya, uh, how is um, everybody doing? Uh, I believe they are doing fine. He has been online for some, some few minutes ago. I don't know why he's not um, back online. Okay. Okay. Dignity uh, Ocean, uh, how are we doing in Cotillo? Same, go, Mr. Mute, right? Okay, my, I think they are doing fine. They even have a new baby added to the church just last Thursday. Then upper Thursday, they had a name on Thursday this week. Um, the the ladies had a new baby, so I, I believe they are doing fine at Kotilo. Praise God. So we give praise, and the Lord of heaven will give us outstanding testimonies, and we'll have a great service tomorrow in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you so much, sir. Brother Emmanuel, I saw your love me on my On the personal note, I'll get back yes, to sir. you. Okay, <laughs> sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen, sir. <laughs> Yes, All right, Satiti, good to see you here. And um, start with me. Okay, Inko, is he with you right there in that meeting? No, sir. Is he not supposed to be in this meeting? He's supposed to be in this meeting, sir. Uh -huh. Tell me, tell him, tell me, tell him I said I asked after him. Yes, sir, he's better. <laughs> <laughs> It is well with you in Jesus' name. Thank you, sir. Sakeke, good to see you. Mr. Yes, Lua, shall I share, share me some you, sir. God bless you, Sakeke. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. Mr. Lua, shall I share me some of you? He's around now. <laughs> He's around. Is he, with you? Is he with you right there? No, he just came back from Abuja. He just came back just a few minutes ago now. Ah, okay. I didn't know he's in town. All yes, right, that's sir. great. Ever I'm in queue. Yes, sir. Where, where am I not acknowledged here? All, All right, God bless you. I should go. Thank, Thank you me. very much. We appreciate you, Thank sir. You, sir. More sir. grace. Thank you. Amen. I receive it. Amen. We <laughs> got to mommy, sir. Thank you, sir. We'll do. I should go. <laughs> Pastor Ida Costa, can you please pray for, for us and for Pastor before we close? Yes, sir. Pastor. Sir. Okay. Pastor Edako, can you please pray for, for us and for Pastor before we land off? Let us pray. Eshe ibi te tibere. Eshe ibi te tibere. Ajupe oje ti. Ibi te tibere. She Father and our God, we want to appreciate you for Thank such a you. presence. Thank you. We want to thank you for your vessel that you have raised, a vessel of one. We want to thank you for his life. We want to thank you for his heart drop. We want to thank you for his passion for excellency in your household and for the work of the ministry that you have committed to us. 
Father, we are grateful, Lord, for your word that has been sent to us this evening. Please, Lord, accept our thanks and praise in Jesus' name. Amen. God, for where you picked us up from since the beginning of the year. Thank you for the various testimonies in various lives. More importantly, we want to thank you for life and for your faithfulness. Almighty okay. Father, accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 By one, we will not be able to recall all that you have done in our life as a church and in individual lives. But collectively, we are saying tonight, thank you. Thank you. We appreciate you. Accept our thank thanks, you. Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. God, for all that we have placed before you. Thank you for your promise that has risen concerning them. Father, we believe, oh God, even before Christmas, every one of us will testify to your Amen. Faith, your goodness, to your loving kindness in the name of Jesus. Amen. We pray that you will crown indeed this year with your goodness. Amen. And that you will drop fatness for every one of us in the name of Jesus. Amen. The world will not be left out in the name of Jesus. Amen. In every of his life and his ministry. Father, you will be glorified in the name of Jesus. Lord, Amen. you will with us to testify of that which you have also done in that the word that he has brought that you put in his mouth has also produced for him. So shall it be in the name of Jesus. Amen. And so Lord, we pray that we will all be diligent. Lord, to what over those words that you have spoken to us, we will be careful to review. We will be careful, Lord God, to to, to, to to resolve before you. We have, we'll be careful to, to, to bring forth our petition, our request. And we'll be careful, oh God, to give you thanks at the end of it all. So, Lord God, none of us shall be left out of that which you are going to do, even as this year is running to a close, in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Build your church, and yes, the Lord. gate shall not prevail. Thank you, Amen. Father, because you do it in our day. And Thank through you. each and every one of us on this platform and those who cannot join, you will indeed build up that house to become a glorious house in the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. Oh, Lord, we Lord will be yours, our Father. Hallelujah. Thank you for your us. By Thank faith you. and by determination and by confidence, we march forward. Knowing, yes, Lord God, indeed we will round up this year with great thanksgiving. Concerning Amen. Blessed yes, be your Lord. Father. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you very much, sir. We are very grateful. Thank you, everyone, Thank for you. joining. God bless you. Amen. Is she going? God bless you, sir. Magisha, is she going? Good evening, evening, everyone. Good evening, sir. I'm on the platform. <laughs> Dr. Leoson, good evening. Oh, Hi, it's our princess. <laughs> we are fine, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Wow. Okay. Yes. Nice to see you. Thank you very much. Sir. Yes, sir. All right, sir. Constant feed. My. <laughs>